Hello, air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. How you doing? It's me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you your late weekly tarot. So let's see what God in un universe has for you. Ooh, Queen of Cups, being in love. Ace of Pentacles, oh my Moses. All right, well, we started out good anyway. Oh, interference from this page of pentacles, uh, page of wands is what I'm hearing. They're coming in out of the blue, causing confusion and creating a sense of fear. Um, angels are saying reconfirming why you left them in the first place. Page of wands is Sagittarius fire, fire signs. Um, Oh, this is afraid of being afraid. It's almost like trying to ignore something that you know you can't ignore. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, thank you. It's almost like maybe you're super duper ultra loving. You want the best out of all situations. Um, with this page, with the Ace of Pentacles here, it's almost like this beautiful new opportunity. It could involve a child, right? Or this page of wands, which is Sagittarius. This could be drinking, smoking, you know, kind of substance abuse or, you know, just kind of staying in that lucid state. And it's, it, you're, it's almost like you're self-medicating here because you don't want to face the fact that you're going to have to move on or you are moving on. But with that Ace of Pentacles, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, please move on, right? Because I feel like the move is actually going to be beneficial for you. But with the moon card facing, that means you fear it. You fear the unknown. Oh, yeah. Three of Pentacles. See what I'm saying? Come on. Come on, light deep boo. Damn, double moon. No, okay, okay, okay. Listen to me, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. You're dragging ass. You don't want to leave. But you need to because there's an amazing opportunity ahead of you. It's almost like you're focusing on the problem instead of the solution, right? You're focusing on how you feel about moving on instead of the opportunity that awaits as you move on. Um, how many nights now? Two nights? Okay, two nights in a page. So this is, yeah, you're afraid to confront your emotions right now. And you're going back and forth. Six of Swords is going that way. Knight of Wands is going that way. She's slow poking that way. Knight of Wands is doubling back. So is this like a taking two steps forward, um, four steps back? When we come together, opposites attract. Shout out to Paula Abdul. <laughs> Where the frick the New York voice come from? All right, so you want to work together because you love this person or you have love in this situation. I'm hearing that for those of you who left something behind, right? We go from five of swords to six of swords. It was almost like you did it for yourself. You did it to kind of quote unquote grow up and mature is what I'm hearing. Now there's, this could be pregnancy for some of you guys too, by the way. But now you're stressed out. Whoever this page of wands is, this Sagittarius, was kind of like the monkey wrench in your whole plan. The monkey wrench in your whole plan. It was like, listen, everything was fine. Life was going good. And then bam. Now we're afraid because, they, again, there's some sort of lucid behavior. Angels just said also to loose behavior. Again, some sort of self-medicating activities. And it's almost like the moon card here is saying you got to get serious and move forward in love. Because you start out here with the Queen of Cups. It's You're contradicting yourself. This feels like Gemini specifically. The twins. One twin is going in one direction. The other twin is going in the other direction. You have emotion here, right? So your love is like, no, this is great. I want to do this. 
But that fiery, impulsive part of you is like, fuck that. No, we're going this way, Mona. <laughs> I said I just heard the word, the name Mona. Um, these are both Sagittarius too, by the way. Here's the messenger and this is the deliverer of the message. So you could be telling somebody about a pregnancy as well. Interesting. You could be telling somebody, um, that you're leaving. You're about to deliver. Somebody is about to deliver some news that's going to stress them out and have them trying to wonder, have them confused, confused, afraid, and then happy. You're both afraid, by the way. You and your person, whatever the situation is, it could be work. They're afraid of hiring you and you're afraid of working for them, right? It, could, it feels dual. And again, that's why I said Gemini, because you guys are the twins. Um, but it, but it could um, uh, resonate with anybody. Mm. I, that was the first card that came out. It tilted to the side like this and I put it back in and I was like, okay, that's not going to come back out. And it sure did. Um, you got the Queen of Cups there, right? Yeah, I feel like you guys were con uh, concentrating on love and emotions. And you had some sort of beautiful monkey wrench that came in and derailed all your plans. Now, angels are also saying, too, you may be trying to get your money together to, you know, I guess, prepare yourself for whatever this situation is. Look for a sign. Yep. Um, angels are saying you need a reprieve. What's here? Be nosy. Judgment, decision, another night. You don't want to talk about it. Right? Again, she's going in that direction. These nights are going in that direction. This night is going. In. So there's a bunch of back and forth. I, you know, I could easily say you're out of alignment, but I'm not. Because I just feel like there is a boatload of contradicting energy on this table related to how you feel. And what you're actually going to do. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yes. Now, um, as I was pulling that yes card, I was really trying to go back over here and look at this card as to see what that card says. Because I really do feel like, especially with this judgment card, that's exactly what you guys are needing. It's almost like you're needing um, angelic spirit intervention to let you know what is the best decision for you to make? What's, yeah, recovery. Ooh, okay. And wait. Wow, look at the universe just gave you those answers. Recovery and wait. Now that kind of says to me, if you're self-medicating, um, you need to maybe kind of pull back and give yourself time before moving on in whatever this situation is. Whether, again, it's love or money or job or whatever it is. You know, if I had to create a storyline for this reading, it would be you were finally at a place where you felt good and you were happy. And then you got some disturbing news that stressed you out. And because of that disturbing news, you started to self-medicate. And once you started self-medicating, like something might have happened like, oh shit, if I keep doing this, I'm going to die or... You know what I mean? Like that you had some deep rooted fears that were, that came up to the surface. And I feel like this kind of quote unquote dark night of the soul, these deep rooted fears, when they actually surface, they cleansed you, they healed you and helped you to move on. But you do still have this impulse, right? This is Gemini and that's Sagittarius. You still have this impulse to backtrack, but angels are saying, keep going. I don't know if I, I raised that up, but a new start is coming. Yeah, this is, this, this feels like a reading for duality signs, which are Pisces, Gemini. I consider Scorpio duality. Um, Pisces, Gemini, uh, Virgo. And I think that's it. Those are my duality signs. Virgo's Jekyll and Hyde. Scorpio's life and death. Gemini is the twin white, and Pisces are the fish. And then also Libra is also a sign of duality for me as well. So Libra and Gemini, this looks like it may resonate with you um, the most, that you're just kind of going back and forth, and it really does feel like two steps forward, four steps back. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you. Bye.